Welcome to Atlanta, Georgia, site of the 1996 Olympic Games, Center Park Stadium, and home to the Georgia State Panthers. And we have been feeling the excitement for this one all week. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic class. As we'll see, the Pandas taking on a team from the Sun Belt, the Georgia State Panthers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. A third and long coming up here. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. On third down, going up top. It's complete on the right side. Across the 25, he's got room. Really confident. And they have a first down. Awesome job there on third down by the QB, working through his progressions. He wanted to go downfield, but the defense took everything away. So his eyes come down. He finds the drag route underneath, makes a good throw, and his guy does the rest to pick up. And he strides his way. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On the run, it's Brock. And he's not going to get there. Makes the stop. And it's really nice, whether it's RPO or not, is having a defensive line that stones the offensive line, takes away the gaps. It doesn't matter what your read is if you're winning up front on that defensive line. On fourth down, looking for the completion. And it's incomplete. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Got him downfield. And they'll finally... For a big chunk of yardage is picked up. The Pandas are on the move. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Made a little something out of that run. He picked up a couple down to the 14. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Looking for the score. And makes the... Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. The option look. He'll toss it. Fighting off the defender. He'll be stuck. Facing fourth and one. No sign of the punt team as they will go for it and try to move those chains. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. On fourth down, they'll throw for it. Finds his man enough for the first. And they finally get him to the ground. Offense, defense, not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. That's a great example of the receiver okay, knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. Second and goal coming up. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Well, they've gotten it down to the three, but now it's third and goal. Marches ahead. Going right back to the well, and this time... It's first and 10 from the 13. In the red area, it's Beasley. And he'll finish. They'll snap it from the 28 infield goal range, but it's third and short. 
They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. I love RPOs. Handing it off, are they throwing the football? How quickly can I commit to this? And you see with the RPO, it just freezes the defense for a half a second. It allows the offensive line to set those blocks up, and they're able to go get the first. They're looking to pass from the red zone. He finds his man, makes the catch, and he's brought down. A nice job by the QB there, timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage, so he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. Catch in the middle, it's green. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Fires to the tight end. Defense makes the stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. How valuable is a tight end in the red area? Now they're set up with a first and goal. I love it. Find the big fella down in the red area. Big target, works the middle of the field, easier throws. Nice job by this offense, keeping it very simple. And after that first down gasher, they're close to the end zone. Second and goal coming. And he takes it to the house. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And after a very short pickup on that run, we have come to the end of the third quarter. That's the end of the quarter. Georgia State has the lead here. This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. They love to start this quarter off with a touchdown right here. The run up the middle, looking for the score. Touchdown! Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got it, they convert. And not much of a four. Ready. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got him and they convert. The and he was... Let's go. A field goal does not top the list of most helpful things at this juncture, so they'll go for it on fourth down. Fires into the end zone, and it's not. Winning those individual six-second battles every play, time after time after time after time, 